All right, so we got to talk about this, man. This is crazy, man. We definitely got to react to this whole situation with uh, CJ So Cool Royalty and Lexi, man. Lexi is out of control, man. This girl is out of control. Why does CJ So Cool got his girlfriend and his kid's business, man, and his children's business? This girl is out here posting medical records, man, medical records, x-rays, and all kinds of stuff. Like, come on, man. What is he doing? You already got her running your business, running all your uh, financials. Now she's in your kid's business posting x-rays on social media. Isn't that like a HIPAA violation? She probably done broke like 42 or 47 uh, HIPAA codes or HIPAA violations at this point. This is crazy. This is crazy, man. Like, this is wild, man. Like, I don't, I don't think a lot of people really understand this, but this is wild. Like, you got your girlfriend involved in your children's uh, medical records. Medical records. That's wild. Everybody, yeah, I don't see you van in the building. What's the word, gang? What's up, Misha? Tony, what's up, baby? We out here. Fuck our man. We got the two-bit hustle. Bro, he let her dirty feet slide too much. He definitely did, look. Okay, so I know if y'all must be under a rock, and y'all don't know about this situation, um... I'm not going to say she fractured her arm because that's extreme. She had a fracture in her arm, right? A fracture, right? That her mother was unaware of. Um, Royce, dropped the video today explaining that when they hurt her arm or whatever, uh, they cried for a couple... So I haven't been really, like, following the whole back and forth thing. I know we dropped the... Um we dropped a video, was it like a week ago? Because I was actually out. I, I, I went on a, like a little mini vacation. And then um, before I went there, I dropped that live stream that uh, Lexi did in the uh, Uber, right? Because she's dating a multimillionaire, but she's taking Ubers. I thought she would have her own private driver, right? But she's in an Uber and she was talking about the whole situation. But I didn't think it would go to the point of her posting medical records because x-rays, that's medical records, man. That's like, like I said, that's got to be like a HIPAA, it's got to be a HIPAA violation. And um, usually the mom, like the mother of the children, she can decide who uh, gets access to her kids' uh, records. I'm surprised royalty ain't do something about that because that's crazy. That's wild, man, that you got, you got your uh, baby father, um girlfriend involved in your kid's business like that i'm not talking about like financials and you know marketing social media i'm talking about your medical records posting x-rays and shit like that's crazy second because she's a gangster right and then she went right back to playing so Leslie, when she went to kool-aid man how old she took her to the uh, uh what they call that urgent care right he took her to urgent care okay he took, he took her to urgent care, right? Instead of taking her, he ain't got no primary positions, but he's a millionaire. You get what I'm saying? And, and this is what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Now I remember because she posted... She posted that goofy stuff on her uh, on her Instagram thanking, I guess, like... She trying to make it seem like she's well-connected, right? I, I feel like she really finessed uh, CJ So Cool. I mean, everybody that has come around CJ So Cool really finessed the crap out of him. Batman Kevo finessed him. Everybody finessed him. Even the white dude. You guys remember that white guy? Um, he's out in Vegas. I forgot what he does. But the, that dude, like, used them to start, like, a cookie business or use his name for cookies. Like, he got finessed by everybody. But this girl, Lexi, is really finessing him. She um apparently gets, like, six or $700,000 a year to be his companion or whatever they want to call it. Um, But she posted something, right? She's trying to make it seem like she well-connected, right? She's, like, trying to thank the urgent care. Man, anybody can go to an urgent care. Like, if you if you a real boss... And you got boss money, big boy money, you got that bag or whatever you guys want to call it. If you got that kind of money, you don't go to an urgent care. The doctor comes to you. That's actually like old school. Back in the old days, if you had money, the doctor showed up to your house, right? They came with the briefcase or the duffel bag or whatever, right? They came prepared. And that's still to this day. Like if you got money, 
the doctor comes to you. So you would think CJ is so cool, this dude that brags about, used to brag about making a million dollars a month. The doctor would have showed up. No, no damn urgent care, man. Stop it. Anybody can go to urgent care. About these people with all this money. They do a lot of broke people shit. He's a millionaire. And he drove his daughter to urgent care. As a millionaire, you supposed to call a pediatrician uh, and pediatrics. <laughs> you hear me? And I didn't come here today. My daughter was... And another thing, like, if you go, like, if he took her to an urgent care, that's like, that's a walk-in, man. It's just like walking to the emergency room. I feel like the emergency room are probably, like, more better equipped. They have better expertise, right? You go to an urgent care, they don't know, like, they don't know, they don't know who the patient's, like, uh, background is. They don't have your medical history. They don't know you. You just walked in claiming, you know, blah, blah, blah happened, and they're going to just act on that, right? I mean, they might pull the x-ray, but that's not going to, like, unless it's, like, really, really obvious, um, they're not going to be able to pinpoint anything. That's just, like, them just trying to, like, it's an urgent care. They're just trying to quickly put a Band-Aid to it, not make you pay so much money like if you were to go to the emergency room. But if you really, like, really hurt, hurt, because they made it seem like this girl really got hurt, man. Like, she got involved in an accident or something. Like, if you really that bad, go to the emergency room. But if it's not that bad, then the urgent care, and I feel like urgent care is just kind of like, they're just real sloppy, right? They're real messy, like, that's not, like, your real, like, PCP, right? That's not your primary care doctor that knows you really well and knows your family tree, right? Urgent care is just like going to your homeboy. Folks, check out the urgent care. First of all, that's broke. Urgent care is in the hood. <laughs> check my DM real quick. Urgent. Uh, today, IG Ward... Uh, that royalty won. CJ made her take the post down because you posting somebody medical situation on the internet, and you got they plan it, they tell it. And it's not like just somebody's medical. This this is his kids, man. You got this girl that's not even your wife. This is just a girlfriend, right? If you want to call it a girlfriend or whatever, man. And like some people saying she's a carpet walker, street walker, companion. I mean, if you paying your girlfriend 600000 that's more than just a girlfriend, man. Unless you're paying for the girlfriend experience, right? If you know what I'm talking about. But that's a girl like like you you might not even be with her. I'm, I'm saying you might not even be with this girl five years from now, 10 years from now, 15, 15 years from now. And you got her with access to your kids medical records that's crazy like this dude cj so cool is a fool man not only is he getting finessed by everybody around him but you got your girlfriend involved in your kids records and shit like that taking pictures why why was she even taking pictures of daya's uh x-ray that's wild man like i don't think a lot of people i don't think that's really like sinking into a lot of people's head because that's just like, you know, somebody on the internet you're watching. But just think about it. If that's your kid and your girlfriend, boyfriend is in the exam room. I mean, I don't know how it happened. Was he like in the same room with her and she's like taking pictures of shit? Like, that's weird. Like, even if my like, if my like, if your wife or your husband is doing, I'd be like, yo, stop, man. Don't take no damn pictures of no kids records. Like, CJ's real, like, sloppy with it. Like, just because you took her to the doctor, don't sh it might show that you care and shit like that. But I feel like he does that, like, for clout at this point. Just to, like, stir up some kind of drama. And that's pretty much what happened. All this drama. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if he actually told Lexi to snap those pictures. Because it's like, sh that's like a stupid move to do. Somebody told her dumb ass to post the x-ray. Why did dumb ass didn't post the x-ray? She's a stupid mother. 
She was beating my mother. Yeah. You said how? Oh, she's slow. <laughs> I seriously think that that actually might be like a HIPAA violation. I mean, I'm not no HIPAA expert or like a lawyer or something like that, but I think that's like, I think you got to get permission from parents. I don't even think CJ So Cool is really a parent because he, he making stupid ass decisions like this. And like I said, I think in the medical world, like the mother, like maybe in the legal world, like custody and shit like that. Maybe the father um, is involved and has it say so, but I think in the medical world, I could be wrong, man. Like if you were, if you're a doctor or a nurse or whatever, I'm sure you guys like get training on HIPAA and shit like. But that's still like a privacy HIPAA, like especially for a little kid. That's weird, man. Like your know, girlfriend, not even like the mom posing, and not even the father. The girlfriend is posting x-ray pictures and she probably got more shit on her phone. Like she's probably keeping all that shit just in case shit ever goes down and she can be like, oh, this is your daughter. Like, give me give me what I want or I'm going to speak. Right. This is like it's got to be like like watch Diddy. Right. Diddy went down. Right. And now everybody that had any kind of relationship with Diddy is coming out of the woodwork trying to talk about their experience or their bizarre relationship with Diddy. Like, you got to think about it. People that have been around CJ so cool, I mean, once he goes down, and it's bound to happen because when you famous, all right, there's a day for you. There's a day when shit really hits the fan for you. It might not be today. It might not be next week, next month, two months from now, five years from now. But when it does go down, and the bigger you get, the harder you fall, and when you do fall, everybody you ever had a relationship with and you did some kind of sneaky shit with, they're going to come out because they're trying to all cash out. This is why I'm like, why is all these people now coming out talking about did he this, did he that, did he this, did he that? Because he, he, he fell, right? It's a big fall. But when he was on top, they couldn't approach him. They couldn't reach him. They couldn't do shit. But once you fall and you will fall, Everybody's going to got all kinds of evidence. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it might be Lexi just gathering all this shit. Like, she probably got that. She's probably in this type of business. Like, she's around all these famous people for a reason. Like, in case, like, shit goes down. It might be a quick cash out for her. I don't know. That was too much at that time. This is, oh my, this, this, this is, let me show y'all what we talking about. This is, this, this is, this is the monstrosity. Ooh, look at them. Ooh. It's Britney, bitch. Oh, she giving that. It's Britney. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> she giving me that. It's Britney, bitch vibes, gang. Yeah? Cool, what's the word? That's from Clarity. Yeah, she's slow. I love slow people. <laughs> uh, it's Britney, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Both there. Get Reeve, get cooked up. She they probably cuss, cussing out all them hoes. She they trying to get to talk about your baby mama. Pray up. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. So what ha- what happened with Reevee? Everybody's like, oh, you got to go check out Reevee's a live stream that she did for like five hours or whatever. They were like, she went off. She talking all kind of mad, mad craziness. Um, So what what was that about? Because I'm not, folks, I'm not going to go watch no five hours. We're not even going to be able to react to it. Like, you guys got to get in the comment section. Give me like a timestamp or something like where she says some, some wild stuff. Because I ain't going to go watch no hour to hour because usually like the first 30 minutes of her live stream is just a whole bunch of bullshit which i'm not gonna bother watching two hours of to get like a little bit of no nah, we ain't gonna go that that route but i heard i heard she said some crazy some crazy stuff on that live stream he, he is shit. Mm-hmm. Is the young lady this is the mouth that stayed it like it got slurpees now i ain't gonna say the full word slurpees a slurpee is giving me slurpees lip. Damn slurpees! I'm 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 actually trying to figure out like, did this girl get some implants, man? Like, I don't think she. I don't think they're that big, man. I think she got some implants. Like, I don't know, but if you look at some of her older pictures, she look, she look like a plastic doll at this point, and it don't even look that good. It look like. 
it actually, like, all that crap she's got done on her body or whatever, like, it makes her look super old. I'm real. It's giving me real slurpy vibe. Like, like right there. I see like a, a hair bump. It's like something, I don't know. It's giving me slurpees. Okay. That's it. This is the young lady right here. Yeah. I see better. I got two stupid motherfuckers in one picture. Two idiots in one picture is lit. Hey, what's up, mama? Yeah. Eat my look at these motherfuckers. Look at these motherfuckers, man. Her lips look nasty. Ooh, what up, Kiki? Shake him up. What's the word, man? So, yeah, she fucking it up. I was like, yeah, he trying to get his baby mama back. Bitch, you fucking it up. Shit. Bitch, you out here fucking it. Bitch, you out here fucking it. Bitch, you out here fucking it up for me, bitch. <laughs> uh. Man, if 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 royalty ever got back with CJ, man, I think that's that's probably gonna be worse, man. That's probably gonna be way worse than the position they're in now. Like right now, I feel like Lexi's got the uh, or not Lexi, royalty's got the upper hand because she she she's a real smart one. CJ starting like CJ seemed a lot smarter during the whole um, court situation. Like he he kind of had like the upper hand. Even though I might have not said anything about it, like it seemed like he really had the upper hand in, in court because obviously he's got money, he's got lawyers. But now, like just the um, taking care of the kids and stuff like that, it just seemed like CJ is real sloppy. And even with the content, he's sloppy. Now he's just trying to really push more and more drama. So I wouldn't be surprised if he was the one that actually told Lexi to take that picture of the x-ray because he knew that's going to stir up some drama and then he can just drop a video because it don't it seem like every time like he drops a video it'll be like a couple days before he drops a video or a week before or two weeks before like he'll have created all kinds of chaos all kinds of drama and then he'll drop a video trying to make it seem like he was the he was the one making the uh better decision like he did the same shit when a uh, royalty exposed his number or some goofy shit like that he waited like a week two weeks dropped a video made it seem like she's the most immature irresponsible person so i'm i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a video coming out pretty soon um where he's gonna talk about this whole kid situation mama come over here smack the shit out of him. yeah that's what he told him he said take that shit down or i'm gonna have my baby mama come smack the botox out your lip bitch you hear me hey he gonna Ooh. What the fuck? What is those? Man, I don't know. What is this? What what is this? I don't know what the man. She took that horror stories. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Facts. He told her, why you upset with my baby mom? That's what's the man boobs. My parents in London. Hey, look, he told her, why you upset with my baby mom? Like what like what's your upset? Why does Lexi always dress like, um, I want to say sexy, because, I mean, she does dress sexy, but it'll be weird, like, I got to show you guys, probably in the next video, man, like, she'd be posting all this crazy shit on, on Instagram, like, at the gym, wearing some of the, like, skankiest outfits, I'm like, girl, why are you wearing, like, super short, tight-ass, little shorts and little shirts at the gym, it's kind of weird, man. But then again, she's a, oh, she's doing OnlyFans. Like, I don't even know. CJ's so cool, man. I don't know. Boy has done fell off so bad. And you got you to gotta remember that CJ so cool creates content for kids and your girlfriend does OnlyFans. Like, what is he trying to push? Where she violated hip laws and all that. But I'm going to let you know, the mama like me. And the daddy wouldn't dare sue me to call me up. So I'm good. <laughs> Hey, bitch, bitch, hey, listen, bitch. Hey, Lexi, do you know that your boyfriend mama was planning on suing me and she stole all her supporters' money? <laughs> the Brady's is out here scamming. It's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. It said, thanks goodness for the best church and bone doctor in the world. So thankful for all the healthcare workers that are just here to make kids and people feel better. I have connections for everything and anything. If you ever need a referral, let me know. Baby, this was urgent care, bitch. You try to pretend like this was some big ass. Yo, that's, that's the one I was talking about. That's that post. I was actually trying to find it. Um, but I guess she took it down, right? Cause royalty told her you better take this shit down. She said, "Uh, 
thank goodness for the best children's bone doctor in the world is so thankful for all the healthcare workers that are just here to make kids and people feel better. I have connections for everything and anything. If you ever need a referral, let me know. Man, she made it seem like she like like man, if you connected like that, ain't no way you're gonna show up to no damn urgent care. That doctor would have showed up to your house. If you really a balling like that, you got big boy money, you got a bag. Whatever you want to call it, you got a duffel bag, a briefcase, you got Lambo money, Bugatti money, Pagani money. Doctors come into your house. That's how it works. You don't go to no damn urgent care. Anybody can go to an urgent care. Extraordinary ass private facility. I can walk in an urgent care. Oh my God. No, real talk. Everybody can walk in. You can walk into urgent care right now. No, no ID, no nothing. You don't need none of that. They're going to ask you for your name, gang. You don't need no insurance card. They're going to look at the computer. Oh, you got insurance? Okay, bam. You don't get insurance, go to the ER. But exactly. hey, she, this is regular shit, bro. Like, this ain't no... She trying to pretend like she has a doctor connect. I'm tired of these people with these nurses and doctors connects. Because if I had a nurse and a doctor connect, I would ask them to loan me $5,000. Because fuck that, nigga. I got to ask some money, too. But, but you a doctor, you a nurse, you a LPN, a CPN, a CRN, a motherfucker, a, a flint bottomist, a motherfucker, a, 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 you sweet and mock motherfucker, whatever motherfucker. These motherfuckers is crazy. And let me tell you guys this, all right? Because I actually went to an urgent care um, because, like, some some shit happened. I'm not going to go through it because it's a long story. Um, and I said, never again I'm going to go to an urgent care. Because um, I got, like, I go to my own primary care doctor, right? Like like I said, if you got a primary care doctor, they know. It's like, it's like going to a barber. They know what you like, how you want your shape up your haircut, you don't got to go there and explain the shit all over again. You ain't got to do paperwork. So when you got a primary care doctor, they know you. It's like it's like a family member. They know you. They know your health. They know everything. So you just tell them what you're like having issues with. They know your background, your allergies, everything. But that's not even like the, the whole point. Like I went to an urgent care, man. They don't even have doctors. Like some places do got doctors. But a lot of them got like, um, what do they, they call it? A physician assistant, right? So that's like a mid-level provider. Not not a doctor, but somehow does some of the stuff that a doctor would do. Like they write prescriptions, but they're just not as experienced as a doctor. They just kind of like, they're kind of like the cheap version of a doctor. The bootleg version. So that's what, I'm pretty sure if you go to an urgent care in your neighborhood or whatever... You're probably going to end up seeing a nurse practitioner or a, um, a physician assistant. And it's just weird. Like, I'm like, I'm not going to spend no $130, $150 to see no damn physician assistant. I want to see the doctor. So, urgent care, man, that's like bootleg shit. Shout out to the chat moderators and members. Shit, you got that like button. Now, you said Ned Woody nurse over there? Uh-uh, they don't take her license. She keep driving the kids out of town to fight old women. <laughs> I just don't like the fact that how like after all this went down, like he was sharing the information with Lexi and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty, I don't know if Lexi know how to do all that editing, like how Royalty know know how to, because it was kind of suspicious to me a little bit. Like I seen when when Royalty was doing all her shit this morning, and then she posted that uh, video. I mean, I don't know what editing you can do. You just taking a picture of an X-ray and posting it, and saying this is the. The, the 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 kids uh Daya's X ray results or whatever showing her bone fracture, whatever the 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 situation was like I don't think you really need to edit that. With her and CJ old video, mm -hmm. and, the, and then she hurried up and posted the draw. I'm like, that, now that had me questioning was that CJ doing that? My thing is right. Why my thing is why you letting your ex right? Why you let your new person to the relationship post their ex on the internet? Like, nah, he say, I'm helping, we helping each other. Mama number one, bitch, never for that month. Bitch, what's up? For that month, make sure y'all cash out, super chat, boys, I'm got TV, I'm fucked up on the view, the subs, and the money. Tanya almost put me out today, G, my bag, she, my bag was at the door, she just ain't zipping. Cause I told her I'm going live, so she was like, I ain't gonna zip it. She like, I ain't gonna zip it. But nigga, when you get off live, nigga, you ain't got no money, nigga, I'm zipping it. I tell her, no. Uh oh. Oh, no. Who that door might be open next time, cat. Oh, shit, she opened the door, it's really open. And the thing is, shout out to my nigga Big Row in the motherfucking building, man. Shout out to Big, the biggest role. Make sure y'all become a member. Y'all see Royalty is a member. Royalty supports slow society. Straight up. Straight up. Fuck you, man. Royalty <laughs> supports us, but CJ still haven't supported me. Oh, okay. No, CJ supports us too. He loves us. Hey, watch this. Watch this, right? Watch this. Watch this, right? Somebody dropped a membership link in the chat.
the chat. Hey, Philly just dropped a membership link. Y'all make sure y'all become a member today. Philly just dropped the link. Hey, look. See, they support me too. Watch this, Bob Daddy. Hey, CJ, your mother is a crack whore. He's over there dying laughing, bro. Okay, I, I hit him teeth chomping. I hit him teeth chomping right now. <laughs> he can't get down. Hey, hey, CJ. CJ, Lexi's mother is a whore, and we're willing to buy her for this $10 that Princess Gun has awarded me with. Thank you, Princess. The biggest. <laughs> I mean, don't nobody really want her anything. She, she could just, we could just all stand in a circle and watch her strip naked up and down about twenty times, and then tell that bitch to be gone with her old ass. I mean, the smell gotta be crazy. Let me see what other, what other, what other picture I got. D McDonald with that membership. Stop playing with him. Don't play with him. Don't play with him. Don't play with him. I don't play with him. Okay, let me zoom in on this. She say, but you brought my name up days ago. So what? this is, this is he got, he got it stored as twins mom royalty. He want to really store it as. The woman I love, Ray T, but that'd be weird. Like, if it pop up, I'm Ray T call him, somebody sit next to him. <laughs> but, but, I can't, I, I, wait. Yeah. She said she rung my name up days ago or weeks ago? Days ago. When? I guess, like, behind, I guess, uh, that receipt. Right here, she's gonna show you, look. Ray T hit CJ up, says, wait, 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 no. Okay, I don't know how I started, but the thread started right here with CJ. This is CJ talking. Repurposing old content, how am I using you? I'm not throwing dirt on your name or trying to make lies up. To tarnish your clout. Like, at least you know she got clout, bitch. Use your brain. Oh, see, that's what Otis said. See, Otis said them shot. Otis said Derek back in that bitch. I said Derek them use my brain. Nigga, I'm finna send Derek over there, bitch. <laughs> Straight up. Right? I'm helping you out every time I post anything old. Now, I want to know how the fuck is you help. What are you helping her with when you post some old shit? What are you helping her with? I mean, are you giving her any form of money? Are you giving her kids any money? You're not giving her kids no money. You ain't giving her no form of money. So how are you helping her out? Hey, D, good looking for that twenty with that twenty-three ninety nine gang. Thank you. You know, you know, every time this situation get wrung up where, where, where that get into the mix about these videos, CJ always tend to like have an excuse. We all we all remember the last excuse when he was at the police station. When he tried to get loud and said, You gonna kill me? And the police hit the horn like, uh uh-uh. get the fuck out of my way, dude. He thought they was gonna pull over. And he was blowing them off him to get the fuck out of their way. <laughs> you gonna kill me because I can't videotape and use your kids anymore? Hey, that nigga was like this. So you gonna kill me now? You gonna kill me? <laughs> the police pulled up, he he thought he gonna kill me. You gonna kill the police said, uh uh-uh. uh. That nigga moved out of the way, they kept going that dumb ass nigga. Tell bitch ass. You the police even know you a bitch nigga. <laughs> I mean, they probably heard the whole thing. It was like, nigga, get the fuck out of my way. I think the police holding her thing and wanted her to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. They gonna, they gonna get rid of all the cameras, no witnesses, right? They gonna be like, so you mean to tell me, I got 30 officers in this office right now, nobody seen her shoot this man. They gonna be like, no, your honor, we promise. <laughs> fuck you mean? Okay, she said, and royalty come back to that and say, I don't need you to do shit for. I don't need. I, I don't need you to do shit for me. You ain't throw dirt now. Post content on your new life with your carpet walker, nigga. What's up? That's Get your ass nigga. Yeah, nigga. Post, post that prostitute up there, nigga. Post that motherfucking prostitute. He free Derek Lord with the Deuce and Bird, the Living Gang. Free Derek Roberts, the fucking shooter. Free my boy Derek. You know, yeah, what? If, if people don't know who Derek Roberts is, Derek Roberts is the man that CJ lied on and said shot him at home invasion robbery. And we're gonna get to that. All right, man. So we're gonna wrap up here for uh, part one. I'm going to drop a couple more parts to this um, because this was a long live stream. But shout out to our Slow Society News, BSC TV. Make sure you guys go subscribe to both channels. And let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. This is wild, man. Posting x-rays and she probably got all other kinds of crap on her phone, man. That's wild.